Hi booktube, it's Missy and today I'm here to share with you guys my top five um, favorite holiday movies. Um, today's theme or topic or whatever is top five holiday books or Christmas books, but I don't own any. And so I'm gonna talk about my favorite movies. But before I do that, this um, top five Wednesday was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey. I will leave her channel link down below along with the Goodreads group if you would like to join. Every Wednesday is a new topic. So every Wednesday is another top five. Um, I have, these are these are pretty much all of my Christmas movies. Um, before I tell you about them though, I want to kind of share with you the Christmas uh, book that I'm currently listening to. I didn't realize it was going to be a Christmas book, but Nosferatu by Joe Hill is amazing. And it's talking about Christmas land and Christmas land is not someplace you actually want to go and it's really good so far and I'm freaking out already. I'm only on like chapter 11 or 12. The narrator for this audiobook is absolutely amazing. When I first heard her voice I was a little confused because she sounds like an old lady but she just does such a good job. I am loving it. But other than that I do have Winter Spell but I'm not going to be reading it. Um, this winter and that is a dark nutcracker retelling by Claire Legrand and then that that's it I don't own any other Christmas books or holiday books and so I couldn't make a top five um, so for my movies I don't want to put them in any particular order so I will just start with the top and work my way down to the bottom. The first one I have here is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, this is a staple and we, it's not like a tradition where we actually like watch it every Christmas, but it is a Christmas-esque movie and I do enjoy it. And so yeah, that's the first one. The next one we have is Polar Express. And um, this one stars Tom Hanks, and it's a, it's not a stop motion. Um, I don't know what they're called when they have the dots all over their face, but that's how they taped this cartoon. And so the cartoon has, like, very um, distinct characteristics of Tom Hanks because it's actually his face used as the animation. Um, but it's about a boy who goes on to the Polar Express, which is heading to uh, the North Pole. And when he gets there, um, Santa's supposed to come and all the kids are super excited because they can hear Santa coming and the bells on the reindeers ring. And if you can hear the bells ringing, then that means you believe in Santa and the boy doesn't hear the bells and so he's getting distraught over it. And um, yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Um, my family is so-so about it. We do watch it um, every December, but it's not one of our favorites, but we do own it, and so I included it on this list. All right, the next ones I have is the same movie. Well, this is this is a burned copy from my, my stepfather, but this is How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss, the cartoon, which I absolutely love. And then this is the actual movie starring Jim Carrey. I like this one. Too, but if I had to choose which one I liked more, I would choose the Dr. Seuss one just because Jim Carrey is crazy in this movie. Um, but I like the songs, and so I do like to watch it. And this is something we actually do watch every Christmas. All right, and I guess um, the very last one I have that I own is something like I really, really enjoy, and that is Elf. <laughs> Starring Will Ferrell. Um, if you don't know this movie, please, please, please watch this movie because, oh my gosh, Will Ferrell is a, absolutely hilarious in this movie. He's an elf, um, not really. He was a human baby that was left, or no, the baby was in an orphanage. Santa went to the orphanage to drop off Christmas presents, and Will Ferrell climbed into 
Santa's toy, sta uh, toy sack. And when Santa came back to the North Pole, Will Ferrell climbed out, and so uh, the elves got a human baby to take care of. And so that's how it all begins, and um, Will Ferrell ends up going to New York to find his father. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, yeah, this is, out of all of the ones that I own, I guess if I did have to put it in order, it would be, it would be Elf, Nightmare Before Christmas, the Grinch movies, and then Polar Express at the end. The ones that I do not own is the Home Alone um, movies, the one and two. I won't touch Home Alone 3. You don't take Macaulay Culkin out of the movies and then expect to get buku bucks. It just doesn't happen. Um, but Home Alone 1 and 2 are, it would be above Elf. I absolutely love slapstick comedy and I love, love, love when the burglars um, get hurt. It, it makes me laugh so hard. I absolutely love it. And so yeah, those are my top five uh, holiday Christmas movies uh, that I own. Um, I am sitting in front of my movie cabinet. As you can see, I have lots. There's three rows or four rows of DVDs, but this isn't even it. I have um, almost every single Disney uh, animated movie along with all of the Pixar's and so there's a ton in my kids' movie cabinet and then there's a ton in their room. Um, this is what I collected before I collected books. If you guys ever want a, a movie um, shelf tour, let me know down below. Um, I think I'm pretty eclectic when it comes to movies and if I do say so myself, I have amazing taste and uh, yeah. If you haven't seen this movie, this is like one of my favorite movies. It's amazing. So is this one. This one's amazing. Oh, oh. oh, have you seen this one? This one's amazing. Okay, yeah. So if you ever want a movie shelf tour, let me know down in the comments. Um, let me also know, since I didn't do a book um, top five Wednesday, let me know what your top five um, holiday videos are or holiday Christmas movies are. Um, I am interested to know. And as you can see, I am, oh, here's my little flower. I'm decked out with all the warm stuff because I'm freezing. I actually had to wear um, a puffy winter coat today because it was that cold in San Diego. So exciting. <sighs> That's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. I believe tomorrow I'm going to be doing my Cramathon TBR. So look forward to that video. And thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.